Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods here to take you through today's market action. Stocks slipped on Tuesday with the S&P and NASDAQ snapping their eight-day winning streak. The Russell saw the biggest drop, though, losing more than 1.1%. The Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ each lost less than a quarter of a percent. Looking at the day's leading and lagging sectors, consumer staples gained a half a percent. Healthcare added close to four tenths of a percent. Energy was by far the day's biggest laggard, closing down 2.7 percent. Materials and financials posted more modest losses. Turning to some stocks on the move, shares of Boeing fell more than four percent after the company grounded test flights of its 777X jetliner. The plane maker found cracks in the engine mount during scheduled maintenance and will work on replacing the parts. The issue is just the latest for the long-delayed airplane after Boeing unveiled it back in 2013 with an original launch set for 2020. Eli Lilly rallied 3% thanks to late-stage trial success for its weight loss drug Trizepatide, the active ingredient in Manjaro and Zepbound. A roughly three-year study found the drug reduced the risk of type 2 diabetes in obese or overweight adults by 94 percent. Eli Lilly said the findings reinforced the potential clinical benefits of long-term therapy for people living with obesity and pre-diabetes. Sales for Manjaro tripled year over year in the company's last earnings report. Lowe's closed down more than 1 percent after reporting mixed quarterly results. Earnings beat, but revenue and comp store sales both fell 5 percent in the quarter due to a challenging macro backdrop and unfavorable weather. Lowe's also cut its guidance for the full year due to lower than expected DIY sales and consumers delaying purchases of big ticket items amidst the higher rate environment. Here's what to watch for tomorrow. More retailers will report, including Target, Macy's, and TJX. We'll also get earnings from Snowflake and Zoom after the closing bell. On the economic front, the FOMC minutes will be released at 2 p.m. Eastern time. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.